Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So temperatures kind of toasty outside, 86 degrees. Dew point, though, still low. It's 58. That feels very comfortable. 58 degree dew point, and it's almost June. So that's uh, that's nice. Don't get that very often, and we should really just relish it as much as we can. Uh, east wind coming in at about 11 right now. That easterly wind is one of the reasons that we have such a low dew point right now. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. There's a variety of reasons. 83 degrees, Wachula, 84 in Arcadia, 83, Mayaka, Parish, Bradenton, the same. So's Lakewood Ranch coming in at 83. We have 84 degrees in Venice and 83 in Inglewood, 84 degrees in Northport. So we don't have a whole lot of activity here locally, but the other coast is getting some pretty good rainfall. In fact, it's likely to get some fairly heavy rainfall around the Lauderdale area today, I think. Uh, kind of a uh, a group of showers moving over the same location one after another. Not quite a training event, but close to. So they'll get some, uh, they'll get some appreciable rainfall totals. Well, certainly over an inch of rain down there. We're quiet right now. I bet you we do pick up a few showers a little bit later on today. And perhaps the coverage will be a little bit greater than it was yesterday. We did see some showers yesterday evening. And they rapidly moved out into the uh, Gulf water, so that it wasn't a big deal. And today, I think we'll probably won't see great rainfall totals either. But we will have some shower and perhaps even some thunderstorm potential over the weekend. Don't think we'll see thunderstorms today, but we have the potential over the weekend of seeing a few pops of lightning around. So we have to remember our lightning safety tips as we all head to the beach for Memorial Day uh, weekend. You can see that one cluster of clouds right there. That's part of a larger scale circulation. This is the one that the Hurricane Center is watching very carefully. The circulation has become, it seems, a little bit better defined uh, in this general area right here. Hurricane Hunter Aircraft going to check that out and let us know whether we have a depression out here or not. It doesn't look terribly impressive as, a, a, as you would think of as a tropical storm. The thunderstorm activity is pretty far removed from the center. We'll see how it develops. It's got some things to fight against, and nobody is anticipating a really strong storm out of this one. It's probably going to be a hybrid tropical system or a tropical depression. Uh, it may eventually, though, turn into a tropical storm. If it did, it would be called Bonnie. You see the dry air that's in place right now over the state of Florida. That's kind of being pushed ahead of the general broad circulation around that low out in the uh, uh, southern Atlantic waters. Now, that dry air will eventually be replaced, I think, by a little bit more uh, moist air over the state of Florida, and that's going to help support a few more showers Saturday and I think Sunday as well. I got some good news, though, about Monday. Uh, the sea surface temperatures out here are not particularly impressive. They're warm, but they're not particularly impressive. They're really kind of marginal. Even though they are above average for this time of year, they're marginal for the growth of any kind of tropical systems, hovering right around 79, 80 degrees, which is basically thought of as the cutoff point. Now, the low all computer models suggest will continue on a track that will take it up toward the Carolinas. If it stays on this track, by the time it gets about here on Monday or so, we'll see winds that will be generally out of the west. And I think that might actually dry us out a little bit and send shower and thunderstorm activity probably inland on Monday. So for all the celebrations that are going to be going on Monday, I think we're going to be okay. It's really Sunday, I think, is the one day when we have the potential of seeing some stronger storms near the coast. For today, not too bad. Northeast wind coming in at about 10 knots. That'll bring you a light chop with two foot seas. Winds may be elevated a bit over the weekend. We'll see how that low develops. A 30% chance today and tomorrow. We'll go with a 40% on Sunday, then drop it down a little bit on Monday. Back to you, Scott.